guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is carly and this is officially my first video of 2024 guys i'm so excited for the year ahead and all the content that's going to come out i want to bring out so much more content just different kinds of content let's plays more mod videos and some cc videos i'm planning to also start doing some cc hauls or build buy hauls and things like that so if you guys have any specific videos you would like to see from me please let me know down below i would love to hear what kind of content you would like to see from this channel and i just want to express a really big thank you for last year in 2023 i just can't believe the growth that we have achieved on this channel in such a short amount of time i was not expecting to you know end the year with 7,000 of you guys so that is just amazing to see how our little community has just grown so much so yeah i can't wait to see what 2024 brings for us all and if you didn't have the greatest 2023 just take it one day at a time and i hope things get better for everyone who didn't have the best last year and if you did have a good last year, then I hope you have an even more amazing 2024. As you would have seen from the title today, we are kicking off the year with a mod showcase video, specifically mods and overrides that make your game feel that much more realistic and look so much more aesthetic. And also mods and overrides to make your sim feel like that girl. That bougie, soft life, living in a luxurious apartment kind of vibe. I'm all about the soft living sims and that it girl character energy that is basically the energy for this video it is going to be divided into five sections so with that being said we're going to start this video in cast so let's head over there this is valentina fiore she is actually going to be my main character for my new oasis springs let's play series coming out this year if you guys are on my community tab you would have seen a lot of bts that i've been posting because i'm so excited for this series i'm basically just in the process of rebuilding oasis springs to be a very like bougie luxurious lavish area but i just really miss playing with a single sim i love my family gameplay but i definitely just was craving some single sim gameplay so we have valentina fiore that's where she came in so i can't wait to get into that series but in of that let's get back into the video so we are starting in cast because i wanted to showcase three things to you the first thing i wanted to showcase is this studio cast background by liju but it is just this really pretty cast override and it really matches her aesthetic so i really like this background because it's very neutral there's some feminine clothes but there's also some masculine clothes so i feel like it'll look good for both your feminine and masculine sims and the second thing i wanted to get into is this trait right here this is the that girl trait by vixen's pixels the description says here you are that girl every other sim wants to be just like you you're that girl that gets up at 5 a.m meditates drinks smoothies has showers every day journals eat eats only healthy food, goes to the gym every day, and is successful in many ways. And I feel like that perfectly describes Val's personality. It comes with two interactions for gameplay, so you can talk about yourself and discuss latest fashion trends. And there's also seven wants that go with this trait, so they could want to take a selfie, make a new friend, clean anything, discuss fitness techniques, use social media, go for a jog, and discuss cuisine. I'll showcase how this trait impacts, you know, your sim in the game and how you can kind of interact with it in the gameplay later on. So yeah, I wanted to show that trait to you guys because I haven't seen anyone talk about this. I think it was just made in December last year, so it's pretty new. And yeah, I thought you guys should know about this because I feel like it would be something really cute and fun for the game. So that is the second thing I wanted to show you in cast. And the last thing I wanted to show you I'll actually have to get Val to take her clothes off. I just quickly took off Val's dress because I wanted to show you this default Skims underwear override by Vixen's Pixels as well. Guys, I love Vixen's Pixels, clearly. I found them on Tumblr and I've been obsessed with their content and their mods. So yeah, this is the default Skims underwear. It is just so aesthetic. I love the color swatch of it and it is just so pretty. Like, look at that. Like I love how the bra looks, it's just different. So those are the first three that I wanted to cover in cast. Let's move on to the next part of the video. So for this next section of the video, we are going to be going over fitness and lifestyle mods. So right now it is around 6.40 a.m. to 7 a.m. on a Friday. Val is actually working home from today, but she's already finished her work from home tasks. She's currently level two in her law career. So what I'm gonna do is I'll have Val come over here and change into her workout outfit and I had one planned for her already 
so she's gonna wear this one so we'll just get her changed into her gym outfit and she does have an apartment gym so let's get into the first mod for this so the first mod for this category is the Functional Blender and Protein Shakes by Somic and Severinko and this just allows you to make protein smoothies for your sim and it actually does affect the way your sim gains muscle in the game. You have a selection of protein shakes that you can drink. So we have blueberry, a herb shake, peach, raspberry, strawberry, and vanilla. I feel like she is a vanilla girl but I think today I wanted to have some blueberry. So we're gonna have a blueberry protein shake. I can imagine that, like I would put in some bananas, blueberries, protein powder, some oat milk or soy milk, but yeah, she's gonna blend up her smoothie and it has a whole animation. You can hear it, you can hear like the liquid in the blender, that is so good, I love it. Okay, and it will say here, Valentina has finished creating protein shake, blueberry, drink has been added to her inventory, so we are gonna take a drink of that. So yeah, as you can see, she is just drinking her protein shake before she starts her workout. If you see the description in the mod page, it does say if you drink a protein shake before your workout, your sim will gain muscle easier. And I don't know, I think they can also lose weight, but I know it helps them build muscle. So that is the functional blender and protein shake mod. And as you can see, she's already finished. So we're going to head down to the gym where I will show you guys a few mods related to fitness and working out. So we are now at the gym. And as you can see here, Val is using the elliptical. And this is with the FlowFit mod by SimRealist, which just adds a few more extra exercise machines for your sim to use. And I just love the realism that this adds to your game. It also comes with this rower machine here. And I'm not sure, I think it comes with like another treadmill as well, but the two items that I will be using in this video is just the elliptical and the rower machine. So Val's workout routine consists of starting with cardio to warm up. So she's done a bit of cardio. Now we're gonna do an energized workout on the rowing machine. And she's gonna get in it. The animations are very seamless for this as well. And as you can see, she's using the rower machine and it looks so good. If you guys are wondering, the apartment I'm using in this video are the Windenburg Apartments by Pixel Glam or Amelie. I did edit the layout of it slightly and I edited the gym slightly obviously because I added these exercise machines. But if you guys love how this apartment looks, you should definitely go check out that build. I did edit the appearance of the outside as well because it's Oasis Springs. So I wanted to match the aesthetic of Oasis Springs more than Windenburg obviously. So this next mod is the Let's Get Fit mod by Kepsid Creation and this basically just like the last mod adds more realistic workout options for your sims so as you can see here we have a bench press and a back squat barbell you can also use things like dumbbells which i will also show you so i'm just gonna have val come over and she's gonna work out and as you can see she can do her squats for her leg day i love this mod so much we also have these dumbbells over here, which your sim can use. So I like to usually place it by a yoga mat and have my sims use this. And this is what the dumbbell animation looks like. We also have some dumbbells that you can do like bicep curls with. Obviously we have the bench press and there's actually quite a few more other options, but those are the two I wanted to showcase. So for the next mod, I had Val come back home because she's going to do her ab routine from home. And just before we do that, I'll get into this mod, which is the AirPods 2 Override by Nuri Batsal. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing any of these names wrong, but that's why I'll list them up on the screen. But this is basically an override for the earbuds your sims get in the game. I'm actually going to showcase this mod in conjunction with another mod, which is the Soul Soul Skill Builder by Mizora Yuki, which allows your sim to listen to podcasts and audiobooks. You guys might have seen me use this in some LPs before but as you can see here we can listen to regular music of course and we can also listen to podcasts and it basically allows your sim another way of gaining skill in different areas you can learn how to cook here in recipes for fancy folk instead of like just continuously cooking you can learn mixology from listening to a podcast and I just feel like this is very realistic so I'm gonna have her listen to this podcast which is called Shaken Not Stirred and the audio that you can hear is the city living radio station I believe but you can also just get it to play regular music so as you can see she leveled up to level three of the mixology skill from listening to the podcast 
So the next mod I wanted to showcase for you guys is the Functional Everyday Clutter Kit, also by Kepsid Creation. And this basically turns the Everyday Clutter Kit that you can buy into a functional clutter kit. So it comes with this yoga mat and a kettlebell that you can use. And there's a few different workouts you can do on it. Right now she is doing her ab workout, so I have her doing some crunches. But just like the other two mods, it just adds more workout options for your sims. So you can also get them to do a random workout, which I want to see what that looks like. It's finally getting sunnier, guys. It was so gloomy earlier in the day. I guess she's kind of just stretching, warming up. Oh, she's warming up. This is a really good animation if you want to have your sim warm up because that is so important before you work out. Oh, she's doing some squats. She's reached level four of the fitness skill. Guys, Belle really is that girl. So I'll get her to use the kettlebell now. This is what the animation looks like with the kettlebell. But there's also a functional kettlebell in the Let's Get Fit mod. So that is all for the fitness and lifestyle section. Now we are going to move on to part three, which revolves around cleaning essentials. So what I'm going to do first is have Val come over here to her room. So for the first mod, I'm going to have Val go to her hamper and put some clothes in the washing machine. And then I'm going to cancel this so she can just put the clothes on the floor. And as you can see here, the laundry pile is just a lot more neutral. So if you guys might have noticed, the original laundry pile is very colorful and bright. And a lot of my sims tend to have a more neutral wardrobe. So I love this mod by Large Tater Tots. It is the laundry pile default replacement. And yeah, it basically just adds a neutral color swatch to your laundry. I personally love it. It's just such a small detail, but it just adds that little touch to your game. See how it just fits the room a lot more as well. And it just honestly matches the clothes here a lot more and it just makes a lot more sense for my sim. So I'm going to have her add this to the washing machine. And in this apartment, I actually added, this didn't come with the original build, but I did add a communal laundry area for my sims because I just wanted a lot of communal spaces. This is also a mod elevator, by the way, by Ravishin. So this is the communal laundry area. <gasps> Guys, people have been using the washing machines. I love that. That means my neighbors have actually been using this room. So while Val's clothes are in the wash, I'm going to have her come in here to showcase the next few mods. So this next mod is the Scrub Father Sponge, which you may have seen already. I'm just going to get her to clean the sink lightly. And as you can see, guys, she is using the Scrub Daddy Lookalike Sponge, but this is called the Scrub Father, of course. This is by Apricot Rush, and this is just what it looks like when she cleans the counter. I'm also going to get Val to come in here and clean the shower area. So the animation goes really quick. So I wanted to just show you guys this spray bottle replacement also by Large Tater Tots. If you guys want just all the best aesthetic default replacements or neutral default replacements, go to Large Tater Tots. She has all of them. She's done so many. So definitely check her out. So this next mod is part of a larger default replacement haul by Large Tater Tots and this is the mop override and it just makes the mop look a lot more sleek. It's in a black and silver swatch instead. Yeah, it's just another small override that I love to make my game just look a lot more seamless. So I just had Val come back downstairs to the laundry room to show you the last cleaning override. But look who just walked in. This is our neighbor Theo Hara and it looks like they're going to talk to each other. Oh! Guys, this is not car this is not canon, okay? This is not going to be canon to the LP. Their relationship is a little complicated. As you can see here, they have romance um, and their current relationship status is hot and cold. Are they on or off? People can never tell because they have this attraction to each other, but they actually dislike each other. Um, they're rivals from university. As you can see, he doesn't like her. But yeah, he can walk away. No, girl, don't fall for him. Yeah, their relationship is pretty complicated. We'll get into that more in the LP, guys. I'm just waiting for the laundry to finish so I can show you guys the last override for this section. Oh, guys, our other neighbor's here. Oh, okay, she's busting down to some elevator music. This is Isla Haynes, and I'm gonna test out some of the That Girl interactions that came with the mod. So if I click on her, and go into friendly and then we go into small talk 
we have two interactions that should come up. As you can see, we have one here, which is discuss latest fashion trends. And then we can have talk about yourself. So I'm going to do discuss latest fashion trends. See how that looks. Girl, she walked up. Why do they do this? So as you can see, she was discussing the latest fashion trends. And they also gained a sentiment from that. I just wanted to quickly showcase that you do have those interactions available with the mod. I haven't gotten the wants yet, but I'm sure that'll just come up naturally in game. So as you can see here, our laundry is done. So let's unload and set it down. And I wanted to show you guys this last override for the cleaning section. Oh, it is so cute. So the last override for this cleaning section is the folded laundry override by Vixen's Pixels. And as you can see, we have that neutral swatch yet again, although it's not by the same creator. I feel like it looks pretty similar to the laundry pile we just saw before. And as you can see, there's also a Ralph Lauren logo, which is so cute. I just think that's such a nice little touch to your game. Yeah, I just feel like this is super realistic and cute and definitely something that would be in Valentina's closet. So I love this last override for the cleaning section all right so i'm gonna get her to put this laundry away and let's get her to go upstairs guys i love how often i'm seeing my neighbors actually come out i swear when i first got the four rent pack i was not seeing my neighbors come out at all but i'm literally seeing theo like go out to the pool area also, I did build this pool area separately. It doesn't come with a build, but yeah, I wanted to add some more amenities to their apartments. Guys, look at my sims using the grill. Alright, so as I said, we're going to go back upstairs for the next section, which will be hygiene. What? Who's at our door? Elliot! Oh my goodness, this is our co-worker, guys. I guess we'll invite him in. Guys, this is Elliot Hayes. He is Val's co-worker and Theo's. If you don't know from the community post that I would have mentioned, Val works at a law firm. Oh, why? Okay, let's invite him in. Um, let's talk to him. And let's just give him a hug because he's our friend. This is like Val's work bestie, guys. And also, if you guys saw from our little polaroid wall over here he is actually the one in the jack skellington costume so yeah this is val's friend who just came over i did not plan that but let's oh <gasps> romance what what are you guys doing guys i just saw them do a romantic interaction <gasps> why are they gaining romance with each other i mean i know she perceives him as a as attractive this is chaotic oh my goodness i am so excited to start this lp guys well, don't flirt with your co-worker. Maybe sit and chat here. Okay, Val, go sit and chat. Look, they get along so well. So the next section I was going to do was going to be hygiene, but I think since our friend came over, I'm actually going to show you these other two miscellaneous mods that I wanted to add in for this video. Because he's over, we're going to be a really good host and offer him a drink. So the first mod out of the miscellaneous items I wanted to show you is the functional bar cart by Ravishin. So this just adds another option for your sims to make drinks that isn't like a bulky mixology table or bar. So I'll show you guys how it works. And it is basically just this unit over here and then all these little clutter items I put myself. So I'll show you how it works. We're gonna make a drink and make a drink for Elliot. She's gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna go make you a drink. So as you can see, she is making a drink for her friend. Oh my goodness, it's purple. Let's make one for herself. Make her favorite drink. Guys, look how easy that is. It is so easy. Oh, what's her favorite drink? It's grape wine. I was not expecting that. But yeah, that is the functional bar cart from Ravishine. I love this mod because I hated having to have a bulky bar in my apartment just to make drinks. The next mod I want to show you is also drink related. So this is the functional drinks tray by Somic and Severinka again. So I'm going to get her to serve up some coffee for her guests. You can also serve alcohol here. So we can also serve this glass of dry champagne with strawberries. You definitely would have seen this in my let's play. So I'm just going to go over this briefly because you would have seen it before.
So as you can see, it just instantly serves up some drinks for your guests. I'm gonna get her to empty this tray because this isn't what we're gonna serve tonight. We're gonna serve some coffee. Okay, we don't need to do too much drinking. So as you can see, she can serve up coffee to her guests. So this is the functional drinks tray by Sumik and Severinka. As you saw, I first served up some champagne and now I'm serving coffee. But actually, to serve up this coffee, you need a separate mod, which is called the Improved Spa Day Tablet by Little Miss Sam. So I am just mentioning that mod only because you need that mod to be able to serve coffee on the tray instead of just like wines, alcohols, and all of that stuff. So that is the functional drinks tray. So these two are just drinking their coffees together and catching up, probably talking about work and just watching some TV together. They get along really well. That's why I don't want Val to flirt with Elliot because I just don't want her to ruin the friendship they have, guys. Okay, guys, I don't want anything to happen between these two. So we're going to send... <gasps> why? Why did Kiss come up? No, Val, we're going to send him home. We are not starting this storyline in a mod video. We're gonna send him home because we need to do our night routine and just move on with this video. Uh -huh. Where are you gonna leave your drink? <gasps> We're on the floor, not even on the table, come on. Okay, so now that Elliot has left, we can move on to the last section of this video, which is gonna be hygiene and self-care related mods. So this next mod I'm showing you is the Razor Default Replacement by Large Tater Tots. And it basically just provides a bunch of different swatches for the shaver. It also looks a lot cuter like this. So she has the pink swatch because she does like that color. It's just a cute little override just to make your game a little prettier. Okay, so now that she's done her everyday shower, she's just quickly changed into her nightie. And we're going to show you another mod by Kepsid Creation next. And this is the functional bathroom clutter kit. So since Val has just finished her shower, I'm going to get her to clean her face. So as you can see here, Val is just washing her face with the cleanser. And you can even hear it. So I just love this extra animation you can add to your game. Guys, our robot vacuum just turned on by itself. Excuse me. Okay, but anyway, she's just finishing off washing her face. And then I'll cue this up as well to show you how the hair dryer works. And yeah, as you can see, she's using her hair dryer and feeling herself while she does it. But I love this functional bathroom clutter kit by Kepsid Creation. As you can see, they have a bunch of great mods. And as you can see, she's got like a sheet mask on and her hair rollers and it is just looking so cute. So while she wears her face mask and kind of just gets that downtime in, I'm going to get her to read this functional magazine. And this is by Large Tater Tots again. This is a mod made by her. This mod just adds a functional magazine that looks a lot cuter and I love that she used Tay and Dawn on the cover. Honestly, is this not the cutest mod? Look at the shout out, guys. Shout out to Tay's wedding series. So for some reason, she decided to take off her face mask and stand up to finish off reading. But yeah, this functional magazine also gives your sim some moodlets after reading each one. So she actually has a few different options. If I open this up, I have the functional magazine architectural digest, a cosmopolitan one, a essence one and a allure magazine. They all have their own cute little individual descriptions. How cute is that? As you can see, my sim got a flirty moodlet from it. So it says here, suggestive read. Someone get Valentina a fan because this book is turning up the heat. Oh my God, I love that. And I just love that. It's like a series that I actually watch as well. So yeah, shout out to the Wedding Stories series by Large Tater Tots and this mod. So now I imagine that it is the next day. Val did sleep with her rollers in. Let's just pretend they're like soft rollers that are comfortable to sleep in. But we're gonna get her to do her makeup. Guys, not Val feeling hungover from drinking. She had like one glass last night and sore from working out. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna click on the vanity, press apply makeup, and let's just do some browns because she's into her neutrals. And I know The Sims makeup isn't that great. Let's do, I don't know, um, bronze eyes, glossy pink lips. Maybe we'll do brown eyes and rose lips. So we're gonna put some makeup on. So this next mod is the Fenty Beauty Makeup Override by My Ex Doll. And basically it replaces the makeup tools or props that your sims use with Fenty items, which is so cool. Look at that Fenty eyeliner, guys. And look at the Fenty blush, guys. Uh, 
I'm interested to see. Oh. <laughs> okay, honestly, the makeup doesn't look that bad on her. The lips are a bit much. The eyeliner isn't exactly her style. I think she prefers it to look more natural, but I feel like this isn't the worst makeup look that comes with the game. And look, she's pouting because she doesn't like the EA makeup. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm just getting her to remove her makeup now. But for some reason, she has to put on the makeup to remove it. Okay, let's go back to your natural face. Beautiful, gorgeous. Okay, so we're just gonna come over here to her wardrobe, change her outfit because she is going out for a brunch with the girls. Let's check herself out. This is the outfit of the day, guys. So cute, the perfect Oasis Springs fit for brunch. She got an attractiveness alert for herself, of course. Just before Val leaves for her bottomless brunch, I'm actually gonna get her to brush teeth because I forgot to show you guys last night this override. So this is the electric toothbrush override mod by Sir Kizian. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna put the name on the screen. It pretty much just replaces the default toothbrush with this green and white electric toothbrush and you can get it in other swatches as well, like pink and white, purple, blue, but I just really loved the green. So right now Val is off to meet her friends for some bottomless brunch at a really fancy brunch bar. And yeah, she's just walking there because it's actually on the same strip that she lives on. And that is going to be all for today's mod and overrides showcase. These are just a few mods that I like to use to make my game feel that much more aesthetic and realistic and just make my sim feel so much fancier, make my sim feel like they're living that soft life. And I did want to stick to mods and overrides that I actually already had in my game. So these are all genuinely things that I already use. I hope you guys discovered some new ones or if you guys have some of these already, let me know how you like them down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this sneak peek into Valentina's life and my new Oasis Springs LP. Get excited for it guys. And I can't wait for all the new content coming in 2024. As I mentioned at the start of this video, let me know in the comments below if you have any video suggestions or content you want to see from me and yeah i hope you enjoyed this one let me know if you discovered anything new what mod that you're excited to download or what override you're excited to use see you guys in the next video bye